Huawei have just released a new MateBook and this is known as the Huawei MateBook 14. And I got a few requests from you guys to do a tech comparison video between the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Huawei MateBook 14. So this is the one for you guys. Welcome back guys, this is Logan the Tech Guy and this is a tech comparison video. And I'm going to cover the laptop that comes with the Ryzen 7 3700U model processor of the Huawei MateBook D14 and the AMD Ryzen 7 4800 H processor of the MateBook 14. Before I dive in, if you guys are new to this channel and if you haven't heard of Logan the Tiger YouTube channel, please do consider subscribing if you like what you're watching in this video. I make tech comparison videos here sometimes in infographical way and sometimes in voiceover like this one. I also do tech reviews and sometimes I explore the science and engineering topics too if the time permits me. So yeah, hit the little red subscribe button and help us to achieve the huge goal of reaching the 100,000 subscribers mark. Let's dive in. Huawei is creating a huge buzz in the smartphone and laptop world and yeah sometimes in international medias too and they have released quite a lot of mid-range laptops that compete with the best ones recently and now they have done it yet again. The MateBook 14 is a recent release and now I will compare it with the best release which is the Huawei MateBook D14. The Huawei MateBook D14 comes at 699 USD and the MateBook 14 comes at 1299 USD. Well, this is based on Amazon price where you can find the links below. It's an affiliate link where if you purchase from it, I will get some commissions from it, which will eventually help Logan the Tag Guy YouTube channel to make better videos in the future. There also will be some promo Amazon links too, so do check it out. Now, let's talk about the display size. The D14 comes with a screen size of 14 inches with IPS panel. It has a screen to body ratio of 84% with 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is perfect for viewing experience. The D14 comes with a screen type of IPS with 1920 by 1080 resolution. It has a contrast ratio of 800 by 1 with a brightness max at 250 nits. Its viewing angle is 178 degrees. Meanwhile, the Huawei MateBook 14 comes with 2K full view display, which is engineered to maximize impact by pushing the viewing area to the limit. The result is a broader, cleaner, and more intense visual experience. The screen covers with 100% of sRGB color space, so huge are vivid and precise. The brightness is 300 nits, and the contrast ratio is 1500 by 1, so you get bright, lifelike images every time. The laptop comes with 3 by 2 aspect ratio, which gives you more vertical space than a conventional device which makes it ideal for designing a masterpiece, editing a document or browsing web pages. The screen has also been certified by TUV Ryland for reducing harmful blue light so you can use it for longer time without your eyes feeling the strain. The display size of the Huawei MateBook 14 comes with a screen to body ratio of 90%. While, when it comes to the weight, the D14 is weighing just at 1.38 kg. The streamlined design doesn't just look great, it means that you can push the hinge to nearly 180 degrees. You will get the best view in the house, whether you are kicking it back or right at the edge of your street. And with its aluminum chassis and a sandblast finish, the Huawei MateBook 14 combines a sleek look with a premium feel. You have got a streamlined design where every last gram of the device has been removed and it comes with a scale at 1.49 kg. Now let's talk about the processor. The Huawei MateBook D14 comes with AMD Ryzen 3700U model processor while the Huawei MateBook 14 comes with AMD Ryzen 3800H series processor and the upper edge goes to the processor in the Huawei MateBook 14. The processor is a 7 nanometer processor and has an 8 ultra responsive cost while it delivers impeccable performance when multitasking or creating content on the go. The graphics are made up of Radeon Vega 10 graphics for the Huawei MateBook D14, while the AMD Radeon graphic card on the MateBook 14 makes the editing video and the retouching image a breeze, so you have a complete creative control wherever you are, and the standard mode will have more than enough power for everyday tasks, but whenever you need to kick things up a gear, you can unleash the performance mode and make even the most demanding tasks a piece of cake. 
The Huawei MateBook D14 is powered up with up to 8 GB of RAM which is soldered and comes with large capacity up to 512 GB of PCIe SSD which gives you the super fast storage so you can access what you need quickly and it comes with Wi-Fi 6 together with Bluetooth 5. While the MateBook 14 comes with expansive 16 GB of dual channel memory and comes with 512 GB of PCIe SSD. You won't run out of space for your images, videos or documents and reading and storing and compressive large files is incredible efficient too. So you'll have no problems nibbly hopping from the task to task and it also comes with Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5. The Huawei MateBook D14 offers a 3.5mm headphone jack and it comes with 3 USB ports, a single USB-C, a single USB 3.0 and a single USB 2.0 and it also comes with a HDMI socket. Contrary to the current trend, the Chinese giant insists on maintaining the classic ports and not on replacing them with a single USB-C. I regret to inform you with the absence of the Ethernet port but one must keep in mind that this is a notebook that costing in a mid-range category price and both of the laptop doesn't come with the SD card slot either. What I like about the Huawei MateBook 14 can be found on its sides. You can get a USB Type-C port, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a HDMI port on the left hand side and there will be a two Type-A USB ports aka the old school USB ports on the right. That's more generous than what you can get on other laptops that I have covered before. The USB-C port supports power delivery so if you wanted to you could pick up a dock which would let you to add more ports while keep the MateBook 14 battery top up. Both the laptops come with a backlit chiclet keyboard. There are two levels of keyboard illumination. Neither gets particularly bright even in the dark. The backlit is on a 15 second timer by default. I set it to stay constantly on by going to the Huawei PC manager settings and selecting never in the backlit timeout section. The trackpad, while it's in an excellent size, has a fairly cheap feeling click. It's not awful but it sounds a little rattle and it vibrates in the chassis. The bottom of the trackpad is clickable with a separate left and right clicks that are easily distinguishable once you get used to them. The built-in gashes are fantastic. There is two finger scrolling, three finger task switching and four finger desktop switching. The webcam sits at the top of the keyboard in a spring-loaded mechanism. This is a brilliant for privacy since you can push the webcam back down when you're not using it. That said, the placement is arguably the worst for a webcam. It's spewing up your nose when you sat at a regular height and angle. Normally a webcam should sit above the display and it would be closer to your eyeline to create a more natural framing. The webcam comes with a 1 megapixel 720p HD so don't expect excellent quality here but it comes with enough for video calls. The cam is hidden underneath an extra key between the F6 and F7 keys and offers a frog eye view for the users in front of the laptop. For the wireless sharing, the D14 and the Huawei MateBook 14 comes with Huawei Share. For a mid-range laptop, the results of the Huawei Share are pretty impressive. The one-hop feature allows you to transfer files or images between your smartphone and your computer in a blink of an eye. I appreciate this is for this feature. Just open a photo on your smartphone then simply drag it on your computer. The photo will appear instantly on the D14 screen. The reverse is also true. Open a compatible picture or file on your computer and then drag it to your phone to retrieve it. And this feature of the Huawei Share only works in Huawei laptops and Huawei smartphones. The Huawei MateBook 14 and the Huawei MateBook D14 has a fingerprint embedded power button. It catches your fingerprint when you turn on the computer so that you don't have to re-authenticate when you reach the Windows login screen. The machine uses the catch fingerprint ID to lock you straight in. The Huawei MateBook D14 is equipped with extra noisy 56 watt hour battery. So whether you're facing all day meetings or back to back classes, it will get you through a single charge. And Huawei has mentioned that with the D14, you can watch 1080p videos with up to 9.5 hours. With a 56 watt hour battery and a 40 watt charger, the Huawei MateBook 14 shouldn't be all that hard in battery life department. As it turns out, it all depends on what kind of workload you are pushing the machine to. I mostly use Google Chrome, Brave, Slack, Spotify, Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Photoshop. This gave me a 6 hours of usage over Wi-Fi with the keyboard fully illuminated and display at a 50% brightness. For a 56 watt hour battery, this is rather impressive. Nevertheless, as soon as you start opening a lot of tabs or playing games, the battery life drops. When gaming, expect no more than 45 
minutes of battery in this laptop. It charges from 0 to 100% in 100 minutes, which is not setting the world on fire, but still a solid charging for speed. When you consider good battery life, the tiny brick is impressive. For gaming, fortunately, both laptops can run games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, Minecraft, PUBG, and GTA V, but make sure it is at lower settings and expect more lag in the D14, while the MateBook 14 can handle graphic level up to medium level settings. For video editing, both laptops can handle video editing up to 1080p HD, while you can still run 4K and MateBook 14 as well, but it takes time to render. For online classes and virtual meetings such as Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meetings, the laptops can handle well up to 3 to 4 hours per charge in the MateBook D14 and up to 5 to 6 hours in the MateBook 14. Now, before I jump to the pros and the cons of the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Huawei MateBook 14, if you like what you're watching, a sub to Logan the Tech Guy YouTube channel will be massively appreciated. Now for the pros of the Huawei MateBook D14. It comes with an enjoyable keyboard experience even though it has a clicky experience. It comes with a strong productivity performance. It comes with a hidden webcam with a great screen. It comes with a SATA slot provided in it and it comes with a premium design at a low price. While for the pros of the MateBook 14, it comes with a snappy performance with a high CPU and storage performance. It comes with a long battery life. It has a relatively good value and it has a pleasing display with a sleek and solid build. Now for the cons of the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Huawei MateBook 14. The one hop feature of the Huawei Share Network there is no Thunderbolt 3, the USB Type-C port is occupied while charging and the RAM can't be upgradable. The Huawei Band may affect the Windows update and the typing experience will be awkward during online classes. I have a few lecturers and students who complain about that during online classes where when they're typing, the camera can be blocked by the fingers of the students or the lecturers. Before I end this video, this video is made based on my hands-on usage on the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Huawei MateBook 14. The views, pros and the cons were made based on my usage on the laptops. There's no compensation and no copy approval provided by the manufacturers to me and there's certainly no early preview of this video was given to Huawei. Logan the tech guy works for the viewers, not the brand manufacturers. So that's it for the comparisons between the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Huawei MateBook 14. You can't go wrong with either one of these. Both the laptops are more versatile and boast better battery life than the highest spec MateBooks. Sadly, uncertainty clouding Huawei's future makes it hard to recommend for the time being. But if you are willing to accept it, which one of these guys will you go for? The Huawei MateBook 14 or the Huawei MateBook D14? And if you have any thoughts or any constructive criticism do let me know in the comments below and if you did find this video helpful and if you want to see more from logan the tag guy youtube channel then hit the subscribe button below and tap on the bell icon now it is really always appreciated check out my other laptop comparison videos i will catch you next time right here remember we are still in the middle of a global pandemic so take care stay safe all love and peace out